playing Kansas, and Cassie said, hey, my brother's playing in a band called Crawdaddy, and uh, they're playing around around the corner in a bar. We were playing the big Coliseum, you know, and, they, and, he said, and she said, my brother's playing the bar around the corner. He wants to know if he can jam, and we went, you know, no, no, we didn't want people jam. We said, hey, man, we're a big ad. We can't have some idiot come on and jam with us who from ain't the, no good, you from, know. From the Holiday Inn yeah, down the we, street, right? The, the Holiday lounge. Inn band come in here. We, you know, we really thought he was like a sap, idiot, nothing, you know. <laughs> and she went, all right, but he's really good. And we went, yeah, yeah, sure, right. uh-huh. He's your brother, and too. she went, no, he's really good. He's been playing all his life and listening. And she played, and we wouldn't even listen to the tape. And we find, finally she talked an hour in the dressing room and said, please. And we said, all right, he can play one song. And we'll play, uh, we did that song, T for, no, Mr. Breeze. Ah. And and that was it. And T for Texas, they were both in A, and that was our last two songs. And so we said, okay, he can play these songs with us. And so he came in the dressing room, and he had a guitar, and we kind of talked to him, and he was he had old scraggly beard like yours. No, <laughs> you know, we kind of went, you know, you know, we... You know, we were kind of too busy to really get into him because we were about to go on. And right when he came in, it was like 10 minutes before we went on. So we went, all right, the, the songs you're going to jam in after an hour of playing is, is going to be these. And they're an A. And we played them once through, real, not all the way, but just a minute. And he went, okay. He didn't even play. We thought, he, yeah. he don't even care. Yeah. So we noticed uh, during the, you know, we played the set, we didn't even think about it. And he came out. And me and Alan were playing, you know, T for Texas, you know, and just playing away. And, and Ronnie looked over in the corner and kind of motioned, come on out. And he came out and plugged up to my spare aunt right beside me. And he noticed me and Alan were just playing with, you know, no slide, just fingers and just playing. So he reached in his pocket and pulled out a slide so he could be a little different. And he just started playing all this slide stuff. And he took, we pointed to him for the solo. And he, you know, he got it on. He just tore it up. And we went, ah. After that song, you know, we uh, we did Freebird. We went off, then we did Freebird without him. And then after the show, we said, hey, you're coming with us. So he went back to the Holiday Inn and told his band that he was leaving. We took him on the bus that night. He, he had a suitcase and his guitar, and his mind was blown. His eyes were crossed, and he was going, ah. and he was on the back of the bus without a bunk, but he was with the band.